Did you ever wonder about a salamander lava and what are they doing in there? Watch them as they grow, as the legs start to show, even when the water ain't too clear. Salamander Chronicles. Salamander Chronicles. Salamander Chronicles. Alright, it's day seven, and I'm going to just show you guys how I'll do a water swap using this seltzer bottle and this Duncan cup, and this is where um, the salamander larvae are. So, first things first, this is water from a pond. Um, you might be able to see the little water fleas, Daphne type things, they're all swimming around in there. Um, before I do the water swap, I'm just going to bump it a little bit, but I'm not going to disturb the mud at the bottom because there's already plenty of mud and I'm just decaying organic matter in there. I don't really need to add to it to make it any darker. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take this cup and um, you'll see me reusing plastic cups like this because when they get dirty, um, I can just throw them out. I don't want to use my personal drinking cups and I'm just going to lightly do that. Go over. Just do it very gently because all I want to do is water. I'm going to look at it. I see some stuff in there, but I definitely do not see any salamanders. So I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to grab just another cup because I'm doing this filming with one hand. Take another look. I don't see a, sa a salamander in there, so we're all good. Pour it into there, and then we're gonna do one more, cause that, actually that looks like about the same amount of water does it. So I think we'll just stick with that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to gently pick this up. I'm just gonna bump it a couple times to get the thing swimming around. And my goal is to pour out the clear part, not the muddy part. If I do get some of the muddy part in the bottom, that's fine. If I end up pouring it all in, that's fine. But I'm going to see how much I can get out first without doing that. So here we go. So in this water I'm pouring in, this is newer water that I got just a day ago. And there's a lot of Daphne, a lot of stuff that those salamander larvae will want to eat. Here comes the muddy water. So I'm probably going to cap it right there. So I got most of it, definitely got a lot of new bugs in there, a lot of new um, water flea type things for them to eat. And that's how I do a simple water swap using just a Dunkin' cup. Um, I even collected the water in this, so it's nice because you can just collect the water, put the cap on, and then you're good to go for whenever you need it within the next day or two. And so that's how I just do a quick water swap. 